Okay, so this is my 3D printed drip irrigation system. It takes a standard quarter inch vinyl hose. I'm doing a gravity feed from a cat litter bucket. So I just uh, go to a, I have a rock tied to a, tied, well, a rock in a bag tied to the end. And this is just a tidy cat litter. These boxes are really great. Um, so we've got basil here, and then in the back, oh, let's see. There you go. So that's, let's see, we need another drip. Come on. So they're dripping at different rates, which is something I kind of figured would be a problem. Uh, I designed these parts in a CAD program that's purely web-based called OnShape. It's a really good one. Um, so these parts are shared in OnShape. You can just go there and change them all you want. It's easy and it's free and it's a very nice piece of software. Um, but uh, basically the hose goes through it here and then I poke, I pierce a hole in it with an awl, um, a sewing awl, it's spelled A-W-L. Um, and uh, anyway, it's just a sharp needle that'll let you poke a hole in it. Uh, but, you know, as I kind of expected, uh, the flow rate between these is, you know, very, it's very difficult to control and they kind of have like a mind of their own, so this, the one on my tomato here is dripping really quickly. Um, and then the one on my uh, uh, butternut squash here is not dripping very quickly. Actually, I think the issue with this one is it's dripping out the back. Let's see, we do get droplets coming out of it. But I don't Oh, there's a little droplet formed on the front there. Anyway, I'm going to have to monitor this. I just installed these four units I was working with, just one drip unit before. And this one is also dripping out in the back. Uh, so I've tried to, tried to kind of tilt it forward. But I don't know, maybe that actually, maybe that was enough. Huzzah. Okay, cool. So maybe I need to angle that in the back. Maybe if I angle that section, it'll help tip them forward. It's basically, you know, the hose is supposed to form a seal here, but if the hole's not really tight and round, then you'll get a little bit of leaking out the back. Um, but this is uh, dripping nicely now. On my rosemary that was dead, but I've it's uh, it's got a little life in it now. Um, and then uh, you know this is the garden. <clears throat> if we can focus. I'll just take a minute, and then there we go. So we're using um, this is a redwood planter that I made. It uses two redwood planks, uh, or maybe it was three, but. Um, all just kind of fits together in a really simple way. I'll show you how I did the. So this this piece is slightly longer, but they're all just from the same dimension, so you don't have to buy a bunch of stuff. Um, and then normal, and then I'm not terminating my hose right now, so I'm just it's kind of up high. Uh, I'll 3D print a little plug, and I'll cut this off and plug the end. But um, yeah, so that's. <clears throat> You know, it, it didn't cost me anything because uh, I didn't pay extra for these buckets. I have them already, and then it was just, you know, simple vinyl hose. So that's a gravity feed irrigation system. Now, I do have to lug this bucket into the kitchen every couple of days. But, uh, you know, it's pretty good for basically free.